Oh my god. Hey, push away. But all the years I've lived in California, Southern California, I've never seen it flood this bad. Like, man, we gotta start praying because this stuff is scary. Show you there was a guy on a stand up paddle board. This is the 78 freeway, it is closed down in both directions. The police CHP telling the guy to get off the freeway, saying it's All right, this past week has been real weird. I might have mentioned before that I have a cold. I still have that cold. I no, don't know if I should call it a cold. I just have this cough and I can't kick it. Um, in addition to the cough, last weekend, just randomly, I hurt my back somehow. And so there was that. And then to top it off, because of course there has to be a cherry on top of the Sunday, right? Um, we were at a get together this past weekend and got home. And so maybe like an hour later, no, a few hours later, we got a message that the entire family that we were visiting has COVID. <laughs> and so, so far so good, but the chances aren't very high that I'll be able to dodge that one. So I've never had it before. So I'm kind of scared. I shouldn't be, but when it's the first time, it's kind of scary, which, by the way, I feel like I hold some kind of record, like it is, it is January 2024, and I've never had COVID, and yes, whenever I have had a cold or something like that, I want to say for the most part, every single time, there's been a reason to check, so, um, or like I've been checked because I've gone to see my doctor or something and they've checked. So, or um, if my kids have been sick and I've been sick, then like the kids have been checked. So like, I know I haven't had COVID yet. And so that's pretty scary. I hope that doesn't happen because we also have plans this week. I have a bigger party to go to, and there's going to be people, and um, so I think that tomorrow morning, I am going to take the test, um, which I did actually after after our friends uh, messaged us, I took a test, because I was just like, oh, well, could my cough um, be COVID? 
So I took a test, but no, it was negative. So, so yeah, super fun stuff. Last but not least, I moved on to a new course, even though I haven't finished the diploma in organic skincare formulation yet, because I have to submit my final project. So that's something that I will be working on now actively every day until I get it done and submitted, graded, and earn that degree for myself. But um, I had to move on, and I was thinking about like what course I would like to take next, and it was kind of a tough decision, but then um, one day this week it just dawned on me that it has to be hair. Like, I used to do hair. I see a lot of potential and a lot of um, oppor opportunity in in that market for products. And also I have so many connections that I was like, you know what, girl, if you miss if you miss a course, if you don't get to finish all these courses, then this is one of those things that you have to get done. And um, it's so fun. I, um, I started studying that course. And I, you know, at first, just like with the skincare um, diploma, they have you study all this theory. And I thought it would be boring. I kind of found the skin theory boring. And I can't get enough of all this hair stuff. I love it. Um, I'm learning such interesting things. And um, I think that I will even be creating content around this topic in the future because I think that, I don't know, I just feel like, not to brag, but like I could be a really good person to share that information. Just in case you guys were wondering, all that flooding was more so like the beach areas of San Diego, which I'm a little bit more inland in the burbs. And when you leave the beach areas, the elevation um, increases pretty drastically. So we don't usually have such issues with flooding over here. Um, wildfires, yes. Yesterday, I did go to the party that we had planned for this week, and it was a struggle getting over there. For one, I felt like I had nothing to wear <laughs> because of my weight gain. I feel like a lot of, not feel like, I know that a lot of my outfits that I would be able to wear just don't fit. 
So I rushed to the mall and I couldn't find anything and I felt so defeated and I almost didn't go. And I'm so proud of myself that I psyched myself out of it and made it out of the house. I was not happy with my outfit. Um, but then what do you know at the party, you know, if I even so much mentioned anything about my clothes, people would just be like, no, look cute. Like, you know, so it's all in our heads. So if you are having similar thoughts, just know that no one thinks those things of you. Uh, even if you're a little bit heavier, like people just don't care. <laughs> um, so I'm just happy I did that. And, you know, as a stay at home mom, busy mom, I just, you know, don't get to go out as much as I used to. So when I have invites land on my lap, I am often just scrambling like okay what am I gonna wear like I don't have anything like I live in leggings um but that is life right now I'm hoping to also for that reason get my um wellness goals fulfilled so that I don't have to feel this way in the future I can be a little bit more prepared um I actually envisioned this outfit that I wanted to find from the mall, which was obviously not realistic that I would just randomly find that, but I think I'm going to look it up. I'm going to have it ordered and ready uh, so that next time I don't have to go through this again <laughs> because I should have something that fits my body right now. And I don't think that being stylish and, um, looking good, pretty, attractive, I don't think it is weight-based. Like, sure, you know, uh, if you are, you know, more toned, that can look more attractive. But every body, as far as clothes, can be dressed to look attractive. So... That's kind of something I realized on my way to the party. I was like, you know what? Just because I'm heavier doesn't mean that I can't find clothes where, that I could look cute in or at least feel cute in. But I'm actually more happy, uh, happier, that I went in an outfit that I felt totally not cute in. Um... Because it was like a social experiment for me. And it was a way for me to show myself that I shouldn't sweat that stuff so much. Another reason why I'm super happy I went is that towards the end, um, I'd gotten deep into a convo with a friend. And it came up that... You know, I'm interested in doing YouTube and, uh, whoops, well, maybe I sort of already am doing YouTube. And then came the dreaded, what's your handle question. And, <laughs> but it's so funny how, you know, we are so willing to share on the internet, maybe with strangers, but when it's somebody we know, oh my goodness, I felt so exposed. That was a great learning experience for me. I feel like my problem is that I'm kind of in hiding in motherhood. If you're a mom, maybe you, mom of young kids, maybe you can understand that. But it's like you have this whole like career, this life, this social lifestyle, and then you become a mom, you very much so kind of give that up a little bit. So you kind of, you kind of take a step back, but I feel like it's such a 
important thing to realize that eventually you have to step back into the limelight of your life. Yeah.